most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life how you what's up my love bugs and love muffins what y'all doing I just want to show y'all something I did. And I want to give y'all some holiday ideals for your living room. Um, just little whatnots, whatever. And, um, you know, just some little different special things you can do. So I'm going to show y'all. Because I'm in a holiday spirit here. <clears throat> this is the tree that Tina decorated. Let me get up close on it. I don't feel like getting up. Get a close up on gold and silver. Mm -hmm, to the mighty king. I got these curtains that, uh, these beaded, beaded curtains. I got them at uh, JC Penney's. And I got them on each side of the window. The reason why I didn't put the other one up yet because uh, they didn't have the silver, they had gold. So I um, back this up off of there. Y'all hear Tina up there cussing? Y'all, my kids get into the game and they forget who around. Okay, so the mirrors up there, those little snowflake ornaments, the little flat ones, you can decorate by putting little um, stuff like that, you know, on there. Um, little snowflakes and like, look, no snowflakes in the window, you know. And then uh, on the drawstrings of the, uh, lines she hung tina did this she hung little uh snowflakes i thought that was a good idea let me back it up y'all need it that close hold on oh back up back up baby oh back up off me now Whoa. yeah she on the drawstring she hung little snowflakes and and put them in the mirrors and little stuff like that you know what i'm saying you know what i mean but i was just sitting here chilling and uh i was looking around the room and i was just wanting to say that I'm liking how that dining room is turning out too, y'all. I haven't got the curtains up yet to the dining room area like I wanted to show y'all. I was showing y'all the other night on how to decorate a room, but I wanted to show y'all the complete room or whatever because the uh, curtains are not up yet. And the reason why they're not up yet because I don't want to um, mess the walls up because the walls, uh, you know, I just don't like doing that. Believe it or not, mostly everything in here that's hung on these walls, y'all, is by those clear thumbtacks. Them clear tacks. Yes, believe it or not, uh, the curtains are hung. On each side is a thumbtack inside the... Um... Y'all don't believe me? I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you. Show you better than I can tell you. Let me see. They're hung by thumbtacks. See the thumbtacks? That's the thumbtacks that's hung in there. And this big picture of us is um, hung by a thumbtack. Two thumbtacks. The pictures on the wall over here, thumbtack. Everything is hung by a thumbtack except the, the big screen. Um, other than that, the mirrors. Uh, the big picture on the wall, thumbtacks. Every mirror, every picture, every, every anything you see hung. It's thumbtacks, y'all. So, um, the only thing that I cannot hang with a thumbtack is, like I said, the big screen and the um, curtains that uh, I have with, I bought with a rod. I'm going to show y'all the curtains of this room. I showed y'all it when it was empty and how I play, place things in it, like um, placemats. Um, I spruced up the um, centerpiece with some more, um, you know, color to it, a pop of color in it. Um... And I also had it, want to buy a lamp and add it there. But these are the curtains over here. Hold on. This room right here. These are the colored curtains. These are sage green, you all. Sage green. And I got them at uh, JCPenney's was a sale. And um, hold on. This is how they look on the pack. See, I got the same rod. See, can you imagine that? They're hanging on the wall, sage green, and the back uh, is gray. See, eye color. You know what I'm saying? And my sister-in-law gave me that idea. But, um, yeah. 
this sage green is going to hang over here on this wall which is going to bring this area out it's going to be very it's already warm you know a feeling warm feeling and an area rug brings it out um so i'm just doing some different things um also i saw some light fixtures that are the same shape as these three lights hanging up there and they have the color splashed in them they at home depot i thought about changing it but then again i don't know if i want to mess with any of that white and gray that's going on in the kitchen area but um yeah so um, I'm just doing a little different stuff, you all. Um, this area right here, where I did have a mirror here and a big uh, sofa table, but it did not fit. So um, I got some, I'm getting something else um, to put there. It's gonna be a mirror and it's still gonna be a sofa table, but I'm just gonna wait um, for that. Make sure this time that I measure it and it fits perfectly. And um, like I said, um, Tina did the Christmas tree. Maybe if I turn on a light, you can see how she did it in the uh, with the silver and gold on it. Then she wanted to put little candy canes on it, and then the star. She she put that up. And like I said, I love the sparkle in the curtains. You know, just different type of ideals. You all. Um, the snowflakes and things like that you know I'm not finished I want to put some garland on the stairs you know um, I'll show you all when I'm finished I've got some Christmas ideas I know I had a lot of uh, Christmas recipes or whatever um, I have ideas for those as well um, hold on I'll show y'all something I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you don't y'all get mad at me because y'all be like well, you didn't show us that in the recipe well I'm going to show you all right, now mama just had to whip up two sweet potato pies. Bam! I will give you the recipe. Calm down. Calm down. I want to thank y'all for... Terrell, you got to take this trash out, baby. It's my third time asking. I want to thank y'all for uh, your support. <sighs> Sit down. Okay. Thankful for your support. And all the cooking videos and everything. I think, uh, I don't know, I may have found my lane, you know. Um, but thank you all. Um, I did do the collard greens one, the collard green uh, recipe. Uh, I did do that. However, it was a short video. So I kind of like, hmm, I didn't do it. Um, I mean, I didn't post it because at the time, um, Tina and Terrell was at home when I was cooking the day before uh, Thanksgiving. And um, I could not find the battery charger to the camera nowhere. And so I was going to try and put them, uh, you know, record it on the phone and have Terrell airdrop the videos to the laptop. But he wasn't go it, it wasn't gonna happen. He has an attitude when I have him drop it to the, the MacBook. For some reason, he don't like doing it, but I don't push it. So. So that's what happened right there and all of that. I just wanted to tell y'all out there to be safe these holidays. Um, as you hear, as we heard, it's a lot of trafficking going on. You know, just constantly plead the blood of Jesus over your children and pray that God will protect them and look out for them. Um, and he will do it. Uh, I believe in everything that I pray for, that I, it will come to pass. So I constantly uh, put prayer over my children all the time and my grandchildren and i'm thanking and praising god for keeping each and every one of us y'all don't take don't take this for granted you know holiday seasons come up i know some of us get sad and we get down because we have lost loved ones um some of us lost loved ones just before the holiday you know we lost some over the summer we have lost some you know during um uh halloween or you know it seemed like just before the holiday you know so some people you know feeling tragic and you know they still feeling emotional pain and things some people are just dealing with sickness and everything else but i just want to encourage y'all to know that you know there's someone worse off than you there's always someone worse off than somebody um and to keep your head up and always know that jesus will always comfort you 
He has comforted me in uh, my situations and everything that I have gone through, um, through the past things of my life. It has always been God that I've called on who always um, made me feel, you know, as though it never happened. He's the only one who can do that. And I'm truly grateful. And I want y'all to be encouraged over the holidays as much as being very careful because like I said, you never know. Tomorrow is not promised to none of us to make sure that your backyard and your front yard is clean. Make sure your slate is clean. Make sure everything is, you know, well off just in case, you know what I'm saying, you was to leave here. And I'm talking about spiritually. You know, we can do that naturally. We can go get life insurance and get life insurance policies and make it not hard on our, our people um, when we leave here so they don't have a hard time in burial and all that type of stuff. But the one thing you want to make sure is, is that your soul is that your soul is taken care of because only what you do for Christ will last. And what I'm saying is your soul is what counts because that's an eternal. That's not going to be no rest and no sleep. It's either going to be heaven or hell. And that's what I truly believe in. And, uh, and so always make sure you be careful. Always make sure to be grateful. I'm grateful and I'm thankful for the things that God has done for me. I'm grateful for my children, all three of them. I'm grateful that they're in the land of the living and they're fine and they're doing well. And my grandchildren as well. I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful for everybody. Um, this is the season of uh, Thanksgiving. It's a season of love. It's a season of forgiveness. It's time to let things go because we, we're going over into a new year, which is 220, which is blowing my mind, uh, 2020 already. But I'm thankful um, to know that I am a new person. I'm thankful to know that the things that I've done in my past that God has forgiven me for and that's a, way, a, a clean slate and it's time to also get yourself in order where it's a clean slate and you have a new start you know um we always want to do new year's resolutions everybody say well we about to lose weight where well, i must do this and i'm gonna do that where well, i'm gonna stop the smoke and i'm gonna drop, stop the drinking um, a lot of us have tried started off good and, haven't, and messed up but it's okay as long as we keep on going on and god this is this is what i go through ten and rails arguing over the game upstairs this is constant yes ain't a dull moment i ain't i'm not editing this out either and so I just want, I just want y'all to know, to, uh, you know, like people, like they said, they start New Year's resolution. Some of us fail, but never, you know, there's no failure in God. You know, I have failed most of my life. Um, I look back over my life. I've, I've started out on diets. I failed, you know, um, you know, it's due to, you know, it's not always, oh, a fat person just likes to overeat all the time. Excuse me. Uh, a fat person likes to overeat all the time, but sometimes, you know, sometimes people have food addictions. Sometimes people eat out of stress. It could be stress going on in someone's life, um, emotional depression. Um, some people eat out of boredom. You know, um, you never know a person's situation when you talk about their weight. And so it's always not. Uh, a person or oh, she just fat because she pigging out you know some people can't help that so what I said all that to say is but never quit trying because even though I, I go up and I go down I, I, I never quit trying you know what I'm saying I find some rail in there to get myself back on track and I'm thankful for that um drug addictions and all that I never I don't I have never encountered it however I remember a time when I did smoke I had a smoking habit the Lord took that habit away from me I'm just talking about the goodness of God and what he could do y'all I just don't want y'all out there feeling hopeless I don't want y'all out there feeling like there's no hope I can't do nothing nobody don't care because that's not true when you feel like all else fails you look unto the hills for which come of your help for your help coming from God and I didn't mean for this to go here but I meant for this to go here if y'all know what I mean because I haven't did an inspirational video in a while but that's okay i just want to know whoever it reaches that um you know that you'll be blessed in the name of jesus and that um your heart be filled with joy and um everything that come up against you in the year 2019 that and as all things pass away, behold, all things become new, especially when you're in Christ Jesus. Just give him a try. Give Jesus a try. Because it, I'm telling you, um, I am a brand new person. I am a brand new person and I'm thankful. And I don't care. The enemy is an accuser of the brethren. He holds your past against you. Nobody but Satan himself come against you and hold your past and keep bringing your past up over and over and crucifying you. You know, we judge the life of a Christian. We don't judge them, but we judge the life. Okay. And so if a person has changed their ways and, you know, ask God to forgive 
of them and they move on with a clean slate, then who are you to allow the enemy to use you to, for, to, to not let them move on in their life and have a clean slate? And I said all that to say, don't let nobody hold nothing against you. Don't let, and I'm not saying this, I'm speaking in general. Don't let nobody hold nothing against you, hold nothing over your head. Whatever you have been through in your past, if you went to the Lord, you went to that person, you got that clear and you know you got that right in your heart, then it doesn't matter about um, others or did they forgive you themselves. That's no longer on you. Do you not, do not take that burden on this year at all but you move forth in jesus name and i said all that to say i want y'all to be blessed happy holidays please be careful and love the kids tell somebody you love them um someone that you um ain't talked to in a long time tell them you love them call them up um forgive them let that grudge go it's not worth it you know it's not worth it um i have uh been in situations where i held grudges and i um I let them go. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it wasn't helping me. I wasn't sleeping at night. I was always the one angry. Everybody else was going on with their life, but I let those grudges go. And now I feel good. Now I can move on. Now I can be happy. And they say misery loves company, but I don't even want misery for company. I don't. I don't even want to hold that type of, of negativity and misery and none of that type of people to be around me in my presence. Another thing, do not allow negative people to be around you this year. If they got a negative vibe, I don't care if they're your mother, your father. It don't matter who they are if they have a negative energy do not you do not have to be around that you do not have to get your spirit all filtered with negativity especially when you're trying to keep a positive mode on you and you feel like you're trying to um be a better person yourself and some people don't want you to become a better person some people want you to stay where you are just so they can talk about you just so they can have something to talk about because it gets the uh, focus off of themselves Okay, so with that said, I am done. I don't know how I went there either, but I just want y'all to be blessed. Peace out in Jesus name. See there, I was going on talking, but that's okay. Um, I almost forgot to tell you all. The website is up. Go to mamalovescooking.com and order your aprons. Um, I do have uh, different ones available. I have like the blue available also although the blue is not on there but i can get that um but yes mama being spelled m-a-m-a -A, that's how i spelled it i didn't spell it m-o-m-m-a -M -M -A. M -A -M -A l-o-v-e-s cooking.com website is up god is good